Fear is just a trick of thought, a future image our mind has bought. But truth is found beyond the known, beyond the self and all we own. In watching thoughts without a word, the words of wisdom can be heard. Because when you see with clarity the simple truth of what's right here in this very present, fully lived, there are no future stories to fear. For in that space of quiet seeings is freedom from all fearful beings. And there, my friend, you come to find the peace and truth you seek to find. One is never afraid of the unknown, one is afraid of the known coming to an end. It's a quote from Jiddu Krishnamurti. If you don't know Jiddu, you may learn more about him as you may learn more about yourself. So far, he has been the only human being that I've come across who was pure beyond purity, honest beyond self-honesty, and inspirational beyond the word inspiration. Before we go to the truth about fear, why do you want fear to come to an end in the first place? As Jiddu likes to say, when fear comes to an end, not as an intellectual conception, not as a hope, but as an actual fact, the mind is made fresh, new and innocent and can bring about a whole different world altogether. When there is freedom, there is energy. And when there is freedom, it can never do anything wrong. So in practical language, the consequences of not feeling afraid any longer will bring a great deal of energy and freedom, which may be the only things we all long for in life. So how does fear come to an end? You either deal with the root of fear or you trim the branches of fear. Trimming the branches will make them grow back. It's just a matter of time. So let's deal with the root of fear. Time and thought are the roots of fear. More so thought is time. It is not different because think about it. It is only when you start thinking that you know what day it is. Right? Thought and time are necessary to take the train, but are they necessary psychologically? Thinking they are necessary will keep fear alive. So for example, when I am thinking of then I feel fear, but I'm not or right now, am I? So I only feel fear because of thought and the concept of time. But in watching, there is no time nor thought, but this watching requires a great deal of attention and focus to watch thought to see time, a state where the brain is watching itself all the time, where it is active and there is no time for it to move or change. So let's try this right now. Think about something you felt afraid of recently, a situation or event that happened when you felt fear. Fear of what? Fear of fear of conflict, fear of loneliness, fear of homelessness. Can you look at the feeling without the words? Fear of without the word. Fear of loneliness without the word lonely. Fear of homelessness without the word homeless. Fear of conflict without the words conflict, argument, fight, and so on. This may sound a bit vague. So what I'm trying to say, is there fear beyond the word themselves? And even more practical, are you afraid of the word and all of your associations with the word? Or are you afraid of the actual possible ending of it all? Are you afraid of the word lonely and all of your associations with this word? Or are you afraid of the feelings of emptiness, disconnection that loneliness may bring? Facing life's challenges without companionship and support, being alone, isolated from others. Is that what you're afraid of or just your associations with the word? When there's freedom from fear, you don't need anything. You don't need gods for you are no longer afraid. You don't need people for you are no longer afraid of loneliness. You don't need a house for you are no longer afraid of sleeping under a bridge. You don't need to settle conflict for you are no longer afraid of losing control of yourself. Let's talk about the last one because it may sound a bit vague and it happened to me last week. I felt fear after I did something two days ago. Now, where did this fearful feeling come from? What was I actually afraid of? Is it the fear of losing control, control of myself? Is it the fear of the unknown? Or as Jidu liked to say, the fear of the known coming to an end? In this case, would I feel afraid if I didn't need the other person's approval of him saying, yes, Jordan, you were right, I won't do it again. Would I still feel afraid if I didn't need my own approval? of the thing I did in the past. And lastly, would I feel fear if I didn't even need the need to not feel fear? All of these things arise from time and thought, isn't it? Because when listening 100% to what is happening in the now, there's no thought, there's no memory. Do you see this? When you hear all the birds outside, the ones nearby and the, one in, the ones in the tree in the far distance, when you can do this, 
without trying to escape from your negative feelings, without trying to numb those. Instead, with a desire to see the truth, then you start to see that all of it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, I had these moments recently. I'm just l listening to outside to nature and you see just how, how perfect life is that all of these worries they just don't matter but how do you do this all the time it does require a lot of focused effort but not in the way that you associate these words with effort more so an effortless effort that comes from a desire to really want to find out to really want to know the truth what i'm trying to say is it doesn't take you effort to do something you really want to do right it doesn't take you effort to eat when you're hungry right maybe it requires effort when you don't want it, when you're already full but when you are hungry it doesn't require effort to eat unless it's something you really dislike so only when you like something and you want something especially the things you want most they don't take effort even though it could be perceived by someone else as effort it's an effortless effort that's what i'm trying to say and where does this come from it's your uttermost priority that's when this effortless effort just happened and the desire the real desire to find out where fear comes from to find out the truth in any situation behind any emotion that is what not a lot of people have and if you lack this yourself don't see that as bad just understand what you really desire find out what you really want instead of creating illusion that you want to solve fear that you want to find the truth because finding out what you really desire what your uttermost priority is in life at this moment will give you that effortless effort to get that right instead of creating this illusion of wanting what is supposed to be good for you supposed to be healthy if you don't want to go to the gym then understand why and especially understand what you really want so it is effortless and it doesn't feel like a task to do or a project or difficult or it's effort try to find out what you really desire in life at this moment i mean why spend your precious life creating illusions that you want something while it's not the thing that you actually want most more so these illusions they are a matter of time before they burst isn't it they only give temporary comfort they only give temporary results but again why believe me gd or someone else it brings me to great growth to learn about ourselves not according to me some analyst or philosopher because if we learn about ourselves according to someone else we learn about them not ourselves that's a quote from jiru and if doing that makes you feel alone then be lonely then why are you frightened of being alone because you are faced with yourself as you are and you find out that you are empty dull stupid ugly guilty and anxious a petty shoddy second-handed entity face this fact look at it do not run away from it the moment you run away fear begins and the following hit me hard because it is so undeniably recognizably true for myself tradition becomes our security and when the mind is secure it is in decay that's also a quote from jiru and i notice this all the time with any of my activities that become a routine especially when things do not happen according to this routine when things events happen outside of this routine outside of this security when abnormal things happen when my mind gets shocked can't predict what is going to happen and it doesn't like it so let me tell you a quick story of what happened last weekend and that explains why letting go of this security can bring you extraordinary experiences and above all energy unlike before an inspiration be unlike before last weekend i was walking through the old city center as i always do each saturday i always walk the same route i always wear the same shoes and i always eat at the same place but this time there was something different an older man that i sometimes see during my walk now approached me he started asking questions he wanted to know who i was and i guess because he could see the seriousness of this inner flame inside of me that's what inspired him so he asked me to come inside of his place and look around just for context he's a private chef and he told me he cooked for Angela Merkel and celebrities, founders, successful CEOs, etc. And I talked with him for about 30 minutes or so. I saw his kitchens inside and then I listened to his vibrant, inspirational personality. And it was different. My mind was shocked by the experience outside of my normal routine. Normally, I'm not there talking for 30 minutes inside a house, a place of a stranger. And especially this person, his character was definitely interesting to me, intriguing. So the whole experience was so different from normal. And here's my point, it left me with a great amount of energy, inspiration, passion. I couldn't stop myself from writing afterwards. I couldn't stop myself from feeling inspired. So exposing myself to disorder without reacting 
to fearful thoughts can bring energy of seeing with new eyes. But as Jiru likes to say, my explanation is not the fact, the word is not the thing. Don't believe me, don't believe yourself. Observe without the observer and you can see the truth. So may you demand yourself to ask serious deep questions instead of superficial questions where the world will respond to with superficial answer. May you find the truth in a world full of lies, my friend. If you want to learn more about the truth in the mind, you may watch this video next. And if you try to find the truth in a specific situation in your own life, but can't seem to find it, then feel free to always DM me on social or send me an email. I don't ask for money, but only respond to serious people. Talk soon.